Hey, Ben. This is Brianna. Brianna, thanks for the call. What's on your mind? Um, I just want to say that this is not shocking to basically anyone. Mm -hmm. Our main job is to do what we can to protect Obamacare. And basically, I don't know what Republicans don't not see. I'm just guessing because they're trying to get as many victories as they can or they're trying to boost Trump's ego. But this is, well, if Democrats are smart, this is a gift wrap for the Democrats. <laughs> Especially yeah. those in the house. Yeah. Because you know that they're going to write ads on, inter on the internet, on television, in those local areas where those districts, the Republicans who voted for this bill, you know they're going to run ads against them. And you know the, the main thing that Americans are concerned about is not just the economy, also their health. Mm -hmm. and, you can't, and, you can't have, and you can't have Paul Ryan, the Republicans, come out and say, oh, we're going to lower pre premiums, when in reality... When people are going to get hit by if this passes, hit by this legislation, you they don't they can look at things go full shit because mm -hmm. that's not the reality we're living in. Right. So I'm just curious, like, are they willing to, I guess, you know, boost Trump's ego in the detriment of the what power they have in yeah. the Congress? Because you you know this is going to backfire on them badly, and you already <laughs> seen, and you've also seen Kerry that after they vote for it and they have the whole victory party, you haven't heard a word about it up until now. Yeah, yeah, thanks for the call. Um, I, is this for, I would say Donald Trump's side of the equation is for Donald Trump's ego. He's most certainly willing to sign anything just so that he can do two things, get an accomplishment, a legislative accomplishment, um, that's number one, but then two, to try to undermine the legacy of Barack Obama, such as it is. Um, you know, Donald Trump is an envious, uh, uh, jealous hearted, um, small man, and he's living in the shadow of Barack Obama. This is his choice, right? This is this is what he's done to himself, because in many ways he could actually he has opportunities to outdo President Obama. Uh, but he is so fixated on undermining his previous accomplishments that he's tripping over himself with his health care bill. Right now, if he wants to hear Donald Trump, this is how you beat Barack Obama's legacy on health care. Give America a single payer system, Medicare for all. Take your pick. You do that and you would completely erase the 28 million people who are uncovered right now underneath Obamacare. But that's only one side of the equation. That's Donald Trump's ego. The other side of the equation is the fact that the Republican Party, they have an agenda that is neoliberalism on steroids, snorting cocaine. That's the best way I can describe it. It is, it is an exacerbation of everything that we hate about neoliberalism. And it is directly a gift out to the richest, the wealthiest economic elite in America. And so whether or not it was, it was to serve Donald Trump's ego, uh, for Paul Ryan, it's irrelevant. He wants to serve his economic masters. And so they are willing to sacrifice. Yeah, I believe they're 100% willing to sacrifice their seats if they can get a tax break on the books for their donors. They're 100% willing to do that because this is clearly, like the caller said, like Brianna said, this is going to backfire on them. There's no reason in the world the House should be competitive for the Democratic Party because of how many seats the Democratic Party lost over the last eight years. But recent polling suggests that there may be some surprises coming up in the 2018 midterm elections. And legislation like this that hurts directly in a very, uh, in a very um, tangible fashion hurts their constituents and mobilizes people who didn't vote for them is absolutely going to put the house in play uh, in a much more significant fashion than it ever should have been in play. I mean, the Republicans should have had a supermajority. The Republicans should be working on a supermajority in the Senate uh, and, and maintaining their majorities in the House. But they are undermining that not only because of how ridiculous and how laughable Donald Trump's administration is, but also because they're pursuing legislation that is clearly detrimental to the average American. And I will give the, uh, the media this and I will give the Democratic Party this. They are um, whenever they can come up for air uh, from the Russia story, they are giving them hell and making sure that everyone is aware of how bad this legislation is for them. And that's absolutely what they should do.